Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best camo guide for the launchers in Call of Duty Vanguard. Show you the best ways to go about getting each camo done. Quick before we do, jump into it. If you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to turn on so any more videos on the channel for the best Call of Duty tips and tricks, class out videos, and camo guide videos on the game as well. So make sure you are sub with notifications turned on. If you do enjoy it, smash the thumbs up as you want to imagine, and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. If you've got any more questions or there is anything else you want to know, again, let me know in the comments below and be sure to get onto that as soon as possible. If you want to see me doing the camo grind live over on Twitch, I'm streaming for about 10 to 15 hours every single day right now so make sure you do follow me over there with notifications to miss any of those streams but i'm gonna jump straight into the video so as you guys would have known i uploaded a video on the launch just the other day talking about how to take down uavs and air streaks uh very easily because as you can see we have now got the m1 bazooka gold really really nice to see glad we got that finished it's a good one to get ticked off um i've got all the kills for the other launchers done and I've got the majority of the Mark 11 launcher done as well, which is really nice. So I should have diamond launchers in the next couple of days, hopefully, uh, as long as I'm taking down all the score streaks that we do see. But you guys want me to go through the cameras. And that's exactly what I'm here for, because they are quite difficult. They are quite tedious, and they can be quite annoying to do. So the first thing I would recommend doing, and the reason I've done it like this beforehand, is what I went and done was get 100 kills or 100 eliminations on every single launcher. I went through and got it on the this one. I got it on the Panzer Trek and uh, the... Panzer Faust or whatever the other one's called. So recommend getting the kills first. And the reason for this is once the kills are done, you can use this as a secondary. Of course, you can carry on using like whichever. Say for example, you're doing ARs and launches at the same time. You can do all your AR kills, and then as soon as there's a streak called in, you pull your launcher out and you get your kill streaks done. So go and get the kills done first on every single launcher because then you haven't got to worry about any of that once you pick up another launcher. That can all go out the window. The kills are fully done. Go into hardcore. Go and get the kills. Very easy. Play a small. If you can get the small maps. Uh, um, it's even better if you get something like Das House on Hardcore. You can get so many kills. It's, un it's unbelievable. But just go into Hardcore. Use the launchers. Get your kills because it's a one-shot kill. It's got a big It's got a big radius on how much damage it does at certain ranges as well. So go in Hardcore. Get all your kills done on all the launchers. I recommend doing this first because, like I said, you can then use this as a secondary purely for kill streaks, which is going to make it a lot, lot easier. Speaking of kill streaks, the first one that we do have is going to be to destroy 100 enemy kill streaks, equipment, or field upgrades. The first thing I'm going to say before we go any further in this video is make Make sure you have the engineer perk on and the reason for this is you can see aerial kill streaks much 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 clearer you can see um any field upgrades that are through the floor supply boxes a lot of people use you can see the trip mines the field mics all that, that that sort of stuff you can see it all through the wall so you know exactly where you want to be going to to get this done and as soon as you can see this I just didn't even play for kills at this point. If I knew there was a supply box in the enemy spawn, I'd run in with my launcher and just try and hit the supply box. Aim directly for the supply box. If I get a kill with it, cool. I don't really care for it. If I die before I do it, it's slightly annoying. I'll just go back and try it again because you just want to get as many... You just want to get this stuff out of the way. Get the launchers out of the way as fast as you possibly can. So as soon as you see a supply box on the floor, if you see a trip mine, if you see an enemy UAV, a counter UAV, anything like that, just take it out of the game as soon as you possibly can. Make that your priority because you want to get these done as fast as possible so like i said even if there was a supply box in their spawn i would just jump around the corner with my launcher and just try and hit the supply box that's all i'd aim for don't care about anyone else if i die straight away after shooting it cool at least i've destroyed the supply box and i've got something done towards this which is a big big w this one's uh, a little bit annoying but you will get this done to get the other challenges done anyway i don't really know why i put this in to because to get the other challenges you have to complete you have to destroy 50 aerial streaks and 50 ground streaks or equipment anyway so you have to get this done you physically have to complete destroy 100 streaks to get the rest of the cameras done anyway but you know it's just a bit of a filler one i guess so the next one is going to be 50 ground streaks or field upgrades again what you want to be doing is having your engineer perk on going for your supply crates going for your field mines going or your field mics the mines that are there those those roller things they're sort of like an r60s whatever they're called you can destroy them and in terms of ground streaks if dogs do get called in or guard dogs destroy them what i would say though is put a couple of bullets into them first otherwise they're two rockets which is really frustrating because you'll put one launcher into them you'll end up dying and then your teammate kills the dog so you don't get the kill for it which is really frustrating so just put a couple of bullets into each dog before you do kill them then fire the launcher at them get the finish with the launcher as well which can be towards the ground streaks and like i said go for your supply crates all that sort of stuff as well you've got guard dogs which are more bullets i believe like they're like three or four launchers which are really frustrating to do so if you see a guard dog put as many bullets into them as you possibly can before you do for like you're going to kill them then finish them with a the launcher and then if you just see the normal dogs put a couple of bullets into them and then finish them off with a the launcher as well that's going to count towards your ground streaks um but majority of the time all you want to be going for is your field upgrades because it's so much easier they get called in four to five times every single game quite easily and you can get this done very easy not a lot of people knew how to do this one i had a lot of people questioning me on how to get ground streaks done so quickly it basically is putting the engineer perk on and going for field upgrades that's gonna be the easiest way of doing it because like i said the only ground streak are the guide uh, the guard dogs or the dogs themselves 
itself, which don't happen that often. Um, so you do want to focus primarily on the field upgrades, like the mines, the field marks, the supply crates, anything like that. It's going to make it a lot, lot easier for you guys to get this one done. So then for the reptilian one, we have got destroy 50 enemy aerial kill streaks. When I was first doing this, I thought this was the hardest thing to do. I was like, wow, this is impossible because I couldn't work out the difference between a UAV and the planes that are just flying around above the map anyway. This is where engineer comes in massive because it's going to highlight the enemy UAVs, the counter UAVs, stuff like that, bright red. Makes it super easy to work out which one you're going for. And I uploaded a different video on this, which you guys may have seen before, which is destroy it, which is how to destroy the UAVs very, very easily. And this method that I have found is unbelievably easy. People are confused at how easy I hit this. Like, I don't even look now. I literally line it up where I know it's going to hit, fire it, and I walk off. I just, I know it's going to hit without even watching it. I don't get the next red rocket ready. I know it's hitting every single time. One thing I will say about this, which I didn't mention in that video, is the UAVs come in and they're pretty fast. They then turn, and once they're turned, they slow down, which is then when you want to put the method into use that I was showing in the previous video. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave it in the info card in the top right. You guys can go check that out after watching this video as well. So make sure you do go follow that if you are struggling with these aerial streaks. But like I said, when the UAV comes in, it's pretty fast. It then turns and it slows down. Once it has slowed down, that's when you want to use the lining up that I used in that video. And if you do miss it a couple of times, it is then going to speed up and leave the map. So you want to try and get it within that time where it is slowed down. You can get it when it comes flying in the map. I got it to a point where I'd worked out as soon as it starts getting called in, you can see it coming over the top because you've got that en engineer perk on. You can see it flying in. I was just judging it and literally one one rocket in the air. They just come together. They meet in the middle, blow up. I walk on, get the next, next stuff done. Very easy to do once you get in the swing of it. This is exactly the same for the uh, M1 Bazooka and the Panzer Shrek. I need to work out the Panzer Faust because it moves a little bit faster. So once I work that one out, I'll be having another video on how you can get it done with that particular launcher itself because it's a little bit different to the other two. But these two, the M1 Bazooka and the Panzer Shrek, line up exactly the same. You want exactly the same amount of distance between the front of the UAV and the iron sights of your weapon. Like I said, go check that video out. It's got all the, it literally has got a clip of me doing it. It breaks it down. I'll leave that in the info card so you guys can go and watch that and get a little bit more detail on it. And then finally, the last camera we do need is the Dead Eye one, which is destroy three enemy kill streaks in one game 30 times. My biggest recommendation for this is playing Blitz. The reason for this is a lot of people call in UAVs and counter UAVs, um, and then it's just very easy to get done. Like I say, once you've mastered the last one, killing the aerial streaks. Getting the free streaks in one game is super, super easy because you know how to hit the UAVs. You're going to get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 called in every single game on Blitz because it's just that chaotic. People will sit at the back. They'll get streaks over and over again. They'll get loads of UAVs come flying in. So as soon as you hear a UAV coming in, you definitely want to go and shoot that down. One big tip that you can use for this is put in-game subtitles on so the uh, operator will say or the, the subtitles come up for whatever the operator is saying. So as soon as a spy play comes in and the operator says enemy spy plane or enemy recon or enemy incel in the air, you guys know straight away you've read that. Right, where is it? Let me take that down. That's got to be a priority. Like I said, prioritize getting the launcher stuff done before anything else in the game. If that means you're, I mean, if you're on like a high kill streak, don't do that, obviously. But if you see that there's a supply crate in the enemy spawn, like I said, just jump around the corner with your launcher, fire the launcher. Don't worry about dying. Don't worry about trying to get everyone killed and then destroying it. Just do everything you can to destroy stuff with the launcher that you need to get done as soon as you possibly can. It's going to make your life a lot, lot easier. And like I say, go and get them first kills done first. Once all these cameras are done, of course, you are going to unlock gold for the launcher, which, as you can see, we've got there. Um, and then it's going to be diamond once you have done all four, which is really, really nice. And it's going to put you on a nice path to Atomic, which apparently is glitched right now, and people can glitch it, which I wouldn't recommend doing because I can see them banning people for it because, again, they don't like people doing stuff like this. So don't go and glitch it because it's not worth the risk. Why bother when it's going to get taken away anyway? You're, if you glitch it, you might use it for a day. They'll take it away anyway. But hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has smashed the thumbs up, as it's more you can imagine. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And if you're not really subscribed to the channel, notifications turn on, please make sure you're going to do that. If you want to watch me do the camera grind live over on Twitch, link is in the description. If you want to go follow me over there, I appreciate which one's in. Catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.